So what's going on guys, Ryder Box here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today it is something very different. So we have a preview build of Dirt 5 here on the PC and we're going to be heading into it and giving it a try for the first time. I haven't played any previous builds of this. I've been sort of following the development of it a little bit, following some of their gameplay and some of the other preview videos released for Dirt 5. But today we have access to the Playgrounds mode on Dirt 5. So Playgrounds mode is where sort of you can create your own challenges, your own sort of stadium style um, events and that sort of thing. So you can go in, I think you can choose... Um, sort of the background and where where it's actually going to be based um, and then you've got a whole heap of options for objects and things like that um, to create your own sort of events in the playgrounds mode so there are three types of game modes in the playgrounds mode so there is Jim Carner, smash attack and gate crasher so Jim Karma is uh, where you earn as many tricks and combos as possible in the time allowed. And basically what we've seen in previous uh, Dirt games where you have Jim Karma, you just got to do loads of different things and like tricks and things to build up the highest score and the person with the highest score wins. Then there's Smash Attack where you earn points by smashing into inflatable objects. It's a race against the clock to hit the target score in the fastest time but avoid time penalty objects. And then there is Gate Crasher where you drive through all of the arena checkpoints in order in order before crashing through the finish gate so that's going to be a timed challenge so what we have in here we only have the build uh, the playground mode in this build so you can either create load or discover so i'm going to go and discover and we're going to try and play some for the first time so there's a few coming soon obviously this is um this is just a preview one so i don't know whether these are ones already in the game or whether people other people with the preview build have made these but what i'm going to do we're going to play the most a popular one here which is called Speed Helix created by Dan Oppenheim. So there are two locations and it is the Arizona or Cape Town I believe. Um, so they're the two locations we can take a look at but this one's based in the desert in Arizona so let's head in and there's also a few different car classes as well we can try out too. So, so far um, I've only had a little go just to check everything's running fine and everything is on the PC. But look at the detail. Oh, hang on, hang on. Before we get in and do it, just look at the detail on this car. It is absolutely insane. Now, this game is going to be releasing on PS5. So, if I was going to be getting a PS5, I would probably end up getting this game. Because, I mean, you need, when you get a new console, you need an arcade racer, don't you? So, what's the handbrake button? Uh, B. So <laughs> I haven't I haven't tried out the controls properly yet, but uh, so far handling is very nice. If you if you play Dirt Rally 2, you know that that's very sim-like, and this is a bit more arcade-like, a bit more accessible, which I think is what you need. Oh, oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> oh, I need to get um, the manual gearbox on because at the minute it's on auto and it's choosing the wrong gear for us. So whoa. This is me just having a first drive in a car, my first impressions, and it's a Citroen DS3, or is it the C3? Don't really know, I need to find out what car we're in, but as you can see what sort of time we can do. But so far, it's nice, so you can create your own arenas like this and your own challenges, so that is going to be awesome, just to try and make these things. Now, I'm not very creative, and I imagine these things take a lot of work to make. I like, I mean a lot, a lot of work, it isn't something you can throw together in an hour, you're probably going to have to spend a good few hours on it, so if that's your thing, then that is wow, this game could be well at your street, you can share it and play it with your friends as well, so uh, yeah, it's the Citroen 3 R5, so there we go, first, woohoo, oh you can see the damage already on the, <laughs> on the bonnet, the bonnet's lifted up slightly, but yeah, really impressed with the, the graphics, you cannot fault the graphics, they are really nice. Um, but um, the handling is very nice too, very much arcade, um, which I think is what we want. Let's try this, the jump then. I think this might be in the Cape Town arena um, rather than the Arizona desert, but let, let's give it a go. Get ready. We're in the Skoda. Very nice. The jump. Go to the start line. Right, where do we go then? This one is literally called the jump. Whoa! That was a big jump. Whoa! 
That is a very big jump. The cars sound lovely as well. Yeah, this is the Cape Town Arena. Oh my god. The jump when you land. You can see why it's called the jump, can't you? Whoa. Missing that thing. It's been a while since I played a Riley game. I used to play Riley games a lot as a kid. I remember Dirt 2. I love Dirt 2. And I, I was a bit younger then. Uh, so. I don't, I don't know what the, the critics would say thought of Dirt 2, but I really liked it. It's when they stripped Colin McRae from the Dirt franchise. But there we go, 48 seconds. Very nice car as well. The Skoda Fabio Rally 2 Evo. So they're the two arenas, and they were both uh, checkpoint challenges, I think they called them. Uh, the, the Gate Crasher, I think they were called. Um, so yeah. There's a couple of the arenas. What else we got? We got a checkpoint challenge, Trucktacular. All oh, right, okay. Ski free. Okay, let's try this one, shall we? I was gonna have a go at trying to make one, <laughs> but I think this time we'll just probably play through a whole bunch, see what sort of things can be made. But look at this. Lovely car. Ski jump. Right, start the finish line. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. That's what happens if you fall off. Let's try again. Let's see what we can do from up here. Let's change all the camera views as well. Oh, we've got a smashed up windscreen. Well, I'm not surprised if you fell off of here. There's a checkpoint. Where do we go? Do we just like drop off? Is that what we do? No, nope, I've fallen off the edge of the world. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, photo mode that. Look at the carnage. Okay, so here's our photo mode, similar to what you'll get in the F1 games, I imagine. But okay, so we've got frames, filters, autofocus distance, shutter speed. Yeah, very similar to the F1 um, photo mode. So that's good. I love a photo mode, especially in racing games. Where do we go? I think we go left. Yeah, we go left. <laughs> we go left. Oh. Oh, yo. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. Got a little bit stuck then, don't we? Stuck in the, the barrier, but at least the game fixed itself for us. Where do we go now? <laughs> what is this track? Whoa. <laughs> Exploded again. Oh, wow. It is really a challenge to stay alive. Where do we go? Left, right, right, through the next one. Nice try out the different cars as well. I don't know if trash control is on. I have a feeling trash control is on, but there you go. Dominoes. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I want to try... Maybe if we try a Jim Carner event. That would be pretty cool. Oh, no, I didn't mean to play again. Right. I'm going to try a Jim Carner at the Cape Town Stadium. Oh, wow. Got like an ATV thing here. Look at this. Very nice. Go to the start line. Where is the start line? Am I at the start line? I guess I am at the start line. Oh man, I remember these. Okay, we're at the start line. You used to have to like get these donuts. I remember these. Was it on Dirt 5 or something? Dirt 5. This is Dirt 5. Dirt 2. How long we got? I don't really know how much time we've got. I've got two minutes, I think. Right. My car control. Horrendous at the minute. Oh! That's one thing hopefully we'll get better with. Might have to try it with a wheel as well. You get points for smashing those sorts of things. But I was big jumps, big air time. Oh, there's no grip in this car. <laughs> I was trying to get that through. Right, come on. Let's go find some things to smash. I don't know how I'm breaking this thing. Oh yeah, I was just pressing the wrong button. 30 seconds left, right. We'll probably have to try this one again. Come on. Initiate donut. A few drifts. Oh, I'm absolutely terrible at jump, can not I? Don't know what these things do. Get another jump, event closing in 5, 4, 3, whoa, the suspension's proper bouncy on these things. 
I missed every little barrier then. <laughs> that has to be the worst Jim Connor run ever. I cannot do these things. I remember Dirt 2 couldn't really do them either. Right. Pretty nice. Looks like maybe this Dan Oppenheim guy. Maybe he's one of the developers or something. And uh, let's try. Let's try the. Let's try the Cape Town. Let's try this one, the Gate Crasher thing. I think I clicked on. Let's give it a go. Very nice, Aston Martin. We're getting a good variety of cars, right? I can see. And uh, there we go then. Loop the loop. Shoot for the final. Right, let's go. So I should try and do a decent time, shall we? Oh, nice. This car handles better. Better than that June. Oh, <laughs> better than that June buggy thing. Come on, let's go. Go, go. Oh, wow. A bit twitchy there. If you're interested to try out the career mode, I'm really excited for the career mode on this. It's actually got a proper story. Oh, that is tight and twisty. That is mean putting that little barrier there. Come on. It's so much easier with a wheel as well. We'll get practice and don't worry. WRC 9 is coming out soon as well. Whoa. Look at these things. Oh. We've got a little bit of stuck there. Okay. We got stuck. Reset the track. Oh no, it takes you all the way back to this checkpoint. Again. We'll avoid that completely. Crash into the bus. They put obstacles everywhere. Come on, let's go. There's the next checkpoint. It is quite technical and twisty, this one. Should have got the handbrake on that. Oh, wow. Missed the buses. Look at this thing. Whoa. I wonder if we can launch ourselves up the side. We will improve. Here we go, then up the ramp. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is tight and technical, isn't it? I think it's actually called tight and twisty or something like that. But in the end, there we go. Job done. Done with two minutes. Aston Martin V8 Vantage GT4. Very nice car. Very, very nice car. You know what this feels like as well? This feels like... They've taken inspiration from um, from GTA with the online stuff with the car races. I feel like that's what this mode is meant to be like. You know what? If they can pull it off, which so far it feels pretty cool, um, it could work really well. But let's try this one. Go to start finish line. Start finish line. Cross right. We didn't get on very good with this this car last time, but that was in a gym. Whoa! Where am I to go now? That way. <laughs> Whoever's made all these, man. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Come on! Where are we meant to go? Around here. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go up. Up and over. Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Come on, bounce, car, bounce. That's a problem with the suspension. <laughs> Aerial Nomad, very nice. Nice little car, that. So I wanted to take a dive into the... Um, into the actual create mode. So let's take a look at the Cape Town Arena. Playgrounds, Cape Town Stadium. It's only small. The Arizona one has a large and a small arena. But this is what you get, basically. Now, I haven't tried this. So let's set a start gate. Let's set it. Set it over here. Place that. Then we need to pull the menu. And we can set a vehicle now. So this is our chance to have a look at the vehicles in here. Wow, there's so many different things. So we got 80s rally, 90s rally, classic, cross raid, you got Formula Off-Road, Modern Rally, pre-runners. Right, let's have a look through the cars then. So we got BMW M1 Pro Car. Ford R5 200, very nice, very nice. A Lancia, we've driven that car today, I think. Peugeot 205, very nice. AT's rally car, Porsche 959, Escort, we've got a Lancia Evo, P 
Peugeot 306. Lots of cars in here. Subaru Impreza. Oh, 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 listen to that. Listen to that. I uh, got the Abarth 131. Mustang GT. That's your Stratos. 911. What is this thing? Very nice. Never heard of Laf Lafitte before. Very nice. Crossroad. Uh, Mini on Cooper Works. Boogie. 3008. Boogie again. Porsche raid vehicle. Very nice. Very nice. What else we got? BMW. Volkswagen. Touareg. Touareg. Uh, just flip through some of these a bit quicker. C3. Uh, Fiesta RS. Very nice. Oh, it's the new one. Very nice. Very nice. Got the Fabio, we drove that one. Polo GTI, again the new one. Very nice, very nice. Ford 1 F F150. Ah, oh, these are the, the pre runner car classes, say. Eh? Audi S1, 208, WRX. Oh, these are the rally car ones. Megane, Subaru, We've got the Aston Martin V8 GT4, the 124 above. Mustang GT4. Um, Lotus Exige, very nice, Porsche 911, whatever that thing is, <laughs> whatever this thing is, wow, very nice, Aerial Nomad, we drove that earlier, got that thing, got loads in here, these are these other cars, right, what car do we want, <clears throat> what car do I really, really, really want to drive, I don't know, <laughs> I don't mind, uh, well, we can only have the ones which you don't have to pay for, so I'm going to have to choose something, aren't I? So let's go for the 306 Maxi. Go on, we'll choose that one. Right, so now we need to create again. Um, object browser is square. Recent, so we've got pinned. So gate crasher objects, we've got platform blocks. Oh, this is, could take a while, but these are the sort of things you get. We'll probably make something a little bit simple. Motorsport. Oh, very nice. Let's place some little little uh, barriers. You can rotate them and everything. Look at that. So if we wanna if you wanna come out the start and sort of go this way, do something like that. Then rotate it a little bit. Oh look at this. Making our own circuit now. Uh, if we wanna go this way and go straight on down there. And then we will probably do this. This is the sort of thing you'd probably you'd probably live stream this sort of thing, wouldn't you? I just want to make something really quick just to try it out. Go back in the object browser. Got barriers and all sorts. Oh, I mean you could just use this. <laughs> you could just use that. Couldn't you? Very nice. So there's all sorts in there to make things. Oh, very nice. Let's just make a really big jump, shall we? <laughs> Rotate. See, we get a bit of a run up. I wonder if you can land that. <laughs> oh, there's a big tunnel thing. Oh, wow, very. Oh! I wonder if we land in there. Right then. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Here we go then. We're in our Peugeot. Take a look at the interior of the car. Nice, nice amount of detail. Sounds are very nice. Come on, let's go. Will we land through the... No. <laughs> Not a chance. No way. It's too... Um... It's too... It's too much of a vertical jump. Uh, return to editor. Right, let's let's give it another shot. If I want to delete that, okay. So we just click on it, delete. Let's go back to the object browser. And f this is more like the jump we want, and that should get us through nicely. Oh, you can actually pile them up. That's pretty cool. No, you can't. <laughs> right, that should get us through there. And then what else? I want to try the, the tunnel, maybe. Advertising, what else? We've got signs, industrial, big ramp. Very nice. So, 
there's lots of objects that actually create your jumps and your your track, your barriers, and then um, you got nice little surround things too to make it look cool. Huh? Got I got ourselves a big tunnel. <laughs> Right, let's test that out. Whoa. I don't know if it will make this. We'll probably put it a little bit. Oh, no, we didn't make it. Oh, but straight into the barrier. Oh, wow. Come on. Let's try a little tunnel, shall we? Loop the loop round. Oh, almost landed it. <laughs> Whoa. Cars bounce everywhere. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. I like this feature. We could spend some proper time making our own little circuit and do a little time trial. Commit your own little race of champions or something, rally edition, but I wanna I wanna try and unlock some of the other cars, but I don't think I could do that in the preview build. I think we're limited to the ones that you know, the free ones you don't have to pay for, but very nice. Very, very nice. So there you have it. That has been Dirt 5. This has been our little preview of the Playgrounds mode. Um, I might make another video on it. I might uh, do like a time lapse of actually making a, a small little time trial track. And then we can do a video on trying to get the best time out of it. And trying different cars and stuff like that. So that might be pretty cool. Let me know what you think as well of this Dirt 5 preview gameplay that you've seen. I think the Playgrounds thing is looking pretty exciting as well. Um, again, I think it's taken a bit of inspiration from GTA 5, so they've obviously done something really well, Rockstar have, with those events, so Dirt wants to implement it into their game. So, uh, yeah, Dirt 5 releasing. It will be on the PS5 as well, next-gen console, so really looking forward to that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new around here, make sure you get subscribed. We'll be covering off Dirt 5, hopefully, when it releases towards the end of the year. But for now, hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next.